Hi, I'm Sharice. I'm Holly. And a lot of you have been um, emailing us and asking questions about what to do for intense cramping. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you have intense cramping, chances are, I think too, somebody in your family, um, mm -hmm. if you have an older sister or your mom, may have had the same experience. Mm -hmm. So it might be good to bring it up with them and see how they handle it. It can be debilitating where they are in bed all day long. And oh, yeah. that's hard to that's hard for me to imagine because I've never had it, right? Mm -hmm. Um but I know a lot of times they'll use a lot of they'll say like a hot water bottle, you know, up against your tummy. Mm -hmm. Um some people have said little Chihuahua dogs are great for that. Arf. I've really they, they actually said that maybe that's why they were bred for hot water bottles. <laughs> Isn't that cute? That is cute. Um so if you don't have a Chihuahua, hot water bottle will work. Heating pad, heating electric pad. heating pad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That will work. So something warm. Okay, so this is my feeling. If your family allows you to take medication, when you have very intense pain of any kind, particularly with your cycle, the important thing is to stay on top of the pain. So if you uh, are watching, your, which you should be, if you have cramps, you want to know when those suckers are coming, right? So keep really accurate count of when your next cycle is going to come. So mark it on your calendar so the next month you know, you know, maybe you have a week window when somewhere in that week it's going to start. And I would just, if, if it were my daughter, I would say, here's one dose of whatever medication I think would work for her. So lots of girls use Midol, um, you know, like a Tylenol or an ibuprofen, or there may be even be better things on the market because I haven't had them since my 20s, but mm -hmm. um, so there could be things that are much better on the market. Um, but basically, as soon as you get those twinges, you see that on the calendar, you're going to start within a few days, right? And you get those twinges of pain where you realize, this is my cramping starting, like this is really going to happen. I would take it right away. And then half an hour before the end of that dose, so usually it'll say four hours until your next dose, half an hour before the end of that dose, take another dose. And because usually the cramping will only last 10 or 12 hours, you know, sort of the bulk of one day. Mm -hmm. And then the next day you don't have them again. I mean, maybe you'll be a little uncomfortable the next day or something, but usually it's just that first day. I would really, I, I think you need to have a conversation with the parent because you can't take that kind of medication for a whole day without a parent knowing. So you need to make sure you have permission. And then if, if they say, that's fine, we'll give you one or two doses of whatever it is so you could make it through a school day, just put it in one of those little tiny, you know, little medicine, you know, pillbox things. Throw it in your backpack with your pad and your underwear and whatever it is, your supplies that you keep with you. And uh, use that, because you know, even at school you don't have a hot water bottle option. No kidding, yeah. There's not a whole lot you can do, and sometimes you just gotta muster through the day, so. And you can't bring your dog with you to school. I mean, chihuahuas are small, they're purse dogs. You could maybe mm -hmm. fit it in if you had extra food and water in your bag. They frown upon it. I don't think they want a dog in school. I don't know. And your school may have rules against not bringing medication, they probably do. So yeah. you and your mom will just have to have a conversation. That's why you need to be really open with her so that she know if she says, listen, for this situation, you can just go in the bathroom, take a mite all, know you're going to make it through the rest of the day. So anyway, I don't... When you're dealing with pain like that, there's not a whole lot you can do. If you're home, you can nap, hot bath, hot shower, hot water bottle. I firmly believe when you are on your cycle, particularly if you have hard cycles, you should do something nice for yourself. That's a good idea. So, um, so I just think you should treat yourself really good on those days. In fact, my daughter is looking forward to the day when she gets her cycle because then she's like, Mommy, can I have as much chocolate as I want? And the I said, good, yes, you The can. good bar. See, right? we're going to seize candy. We're going to seize candy. You can pick out the big box of dark chocolates. Knock your socks off. Yeah, no milk chocolate Hershey bar. What? What? I'm taking you to the big time. You get Godiva. Godiva, yeah. You know, seriously, a couple of chocolate-covered strawberries. I think you deserve it. I do. Yeah. And plus, it's the benefit of being a woman, and when a guy walks by, you know, in your family and says, Hey, I want some of that, say, You bleeding? <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, That's a good one. All right, so I'm Holly. I'm Sharice. I hope that helps you with your cramps. It's not a lot of fun. No. Good luck. Good Cramp luck out. with that. <laughs> good luck with that. Good luck with that.